Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series uh, of videos uh, dealing with Excel basics, uh, is going to do something something a little bit more unusual, but it's actually very quick to do. Okay? And it's just going to tie one or two sort of concepts together. Okay? Uh, and it's this, is I'd like to reverse a column of values. Okay? So for example, here I have a column of data values here. So my column, these are all listed in column C. Okay, uh, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to flip them. Okay, so you can sort of see that 57 is the first number, 54 is the second number, 0 is the next number, 8 is the next, and so on and so forth. Yeah, the last number is 79, the second to last is 24, the third to last is 74, and so on. Okay, but what I'd like to happen is this is I want to reorder them. Now, I don't want to order them in, in ascending or descending order, okay, that they're in order. Uh, I'd like 57 to become my last number and 79 to become my first number I like 54 to become my second to last number and 24 to become my second number and so on and so forth so what I really want to do is I want to flip the column of numbers if that makes sense and actually there's an easy way to do that okay uh, what I'm first of all going to do is I'm just going to create a new column here and I'm going to call it index okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give every single number Okay. Every row is going to have a particular index. And let me just start off with one. So this is the first uh, data value. This is the second data value, the third, and so on and so forth. If I just highlight them data values and double click, uh, what the Excel will do for me is it'll actually just, I suppose, it'll continue the pattern or it'll fill the series yeah, based off the first day, the pattern associated with the first couple of numbers. But most importantly, what we can actually see here is that every data value has a specific index. Okay, So what I want to do is I want to flip them. Okay, So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to highlight all of my data values. Okay, so I'm going to highlight all of my data values. Okay, And now I'm going to go to the sort function, which can be found in the data on the data ribbon so I'm going to click on the data ribbon okay and I'm going to choose sort okay I'm going to choose sort and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify the column I want to sort but this time actually I'm going to sort the index column numbers because they're all in order okay and instead of from uh, instead of in uh, ascending from smallest to largest I'm going to do it in descending order uh, from uh, from largest to smallest, okay? So in this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort on the index column and I'm going to sort based off largest to smallest. Now, what's important here is that when I chose the data to sort, okay, I had to select my data values along with the index values. So when it sorts the index values, it's going to automatically sort the data values for us uh, as well. Okay? And that's all you have to do. So I'm going to hit OK. So hopefully we'll see 57 will go to 79, 79 will go to 57, 54 will go where 24 was down here, and 24 will go where 54 was. And every other value will get swapped in, 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 in following a similar pattern. Okay? In other words, it'll flip the columns. So I'm just going to hit OK on that, and I hit OK, and there you go. You can actually see. Actually, let's just let's just reverse that. I'm going to Control Z on that. Okay. Let me actually just take these data values here. These are the original data values. I'm going to copy them with a Control C, and I'm just going to place them here. Control V, and I'm going to call this. These are my original my original values. Okay. So they're my original values. Let me maybe center this column. I like it when it's centered. Okay, to center the column. And let me do this process again. So I'm going to take all of these values here, okay, my original data along with the index numbers that I've associated with these values. I'm going to go to the data ribbon. I'm going to choose sort. And what I'm going to sort off is based off the index numbers. Now, the only ones to sort that are going to get sorted are the ones that are highlighted here. So I'm going to sort off the index number column from largest the smallest okay and I'm gonna hit okay on that and actually what we can actually see here is this well here's the original so 57 was swapped with 79 so 57 actually was swapped with this 79 here and you can see that the 79 was swapped with 57 the 54 went down to the second last one which is here now okay the 0 went to the third last one the 8 went to the fourth last the 63 went to the fifth last and so on and so forth we can see the way they've actually been swapped all the way down to the column okay uh, so that was actually quite a quick uh, quick video uh, but it's something that I, I had to sort of explore myself in relation to in relation to Excel at times there's going to be times when you need to when you need to flip a column of data or even you need to flip a row of data okay uh, so once again guys this was Jonathan Lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the National College of Ireland uh, and I hope this video was somewhat uh, 
intuitive, and more importantly, I hope it was helpful for you. So once again, thanks for thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.